Today on The Daily Dose, Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman in space. After cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human in space in 1961, director of cosmonaut training Nikolai Kakaman read in an American media source that female pilots in the U.S. were training to become astronauts. As a result, Kakaman gained approval for an all-female cosmonaut program, which began training in 1963. Born on March 6, 1937, textile worker Valentina Tereshkova had no previous desire to fly in space. However, her love of skydiving made her an excellent candidate for the Soviet space program. Training included isolation tests, centrifuge g-force tests, thermal chamber tests, decompression chamber tests, and pilot training in MiG-15 fighter jets. On June 16, 1963, Tereshkova reached outer space in her Vostok 6 rocket after a flawless liftoff. Although she experienced nausea and physical discomfort for most of the flight, she orbited the Earth 48 times in just under three days, making her the first and only woman to solo in space. As was the protocol in all Vostok missions, Tereshkova ejected from her capsule during its descent at about four miles above the Earth, parachuting to the ground in Kazakhstan on June 19, 1963. After the dissolution of the first group of female cosmonauts in 1969, Tereshkova stayed on at the Soviet space program as an instructor, graduating from the Zhukovsky Air Force Engineering Academy and retiring from the Air Force in 1997, having attained the rank of Major General. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Tereshkova was elected in 2011 to the National State Duma much like the American House of Representatives, re-elected for a second term in 2016. And there you have it, the first woman in space, today on The Daily Dose. If you enjoyed this short educational video, consider giving the filmmakers a YouTube super thanks from as little as a dollar, so that you too can feed the filmmakers who feed your brain.